Hey, so we're back doing a little more application performance management today. So if apps are the king and the network is the throne, then the operating system is kind of like the cushion on the throne that the apps sit on. Let's take a look. So here we are, IMC homepage again. We are going to go and install the Windows agent and we're actually on a Windows 2012 server right now. So what we're going to do is going to go down to application manager, resource application manager and go down to agent management. So within the agent management, there's a few different options here or a couple different options. We could download it. Um, we could install, which will launch from the IMC server and be able to deploy it remotely to a remote server. Right, so that's another option here, but we're not gonna do that today. We are just gonna do the local install. So we're gonna download Agent Package Windows. And now we're going to download this. So I'm gonna do a little video magic so that we don't have to wait for that. So I have downloaded the package, the Agent Package, and I've also unzipped it onto the server that we're gonna install the Agent on. In this case, that's actually the IMC server itself. Mind boggling, I know. So we're going to go into the Windows directory. So now we're going to click on the install and this is going to launch the agent install. Of course we have to click on run. And now we're going to get a DOS prompt that comes up and will ask us for the IP address of the IMC system. So this is going to be the same obviously as 10.3 10 to 20. This is the system we're running on. If you're running in IMC in a distributed manner, this is going to be the IP address of the master server and that that is in the docs. So of course, uh, don't just follow the video. Um, there are documentation. There's an administrator guide for APM 7.1. Check it out. It's good stuff. And this agent is going to take a bit of time to install. This is going through and figuring out what's actually installed on the OS. And when we're done, it's going to give us a list of applications that we can choose to monitor if we want. So we can see now that um, this is in a installation mode, the agent is talking, right? We can go back and then eventually we're gonna be able to click on the refresh button and you will see that this will be done and we're gonna get some results. And that should give us about enough time. Let's go up to the top here and click refresh. And there we go. The agent has started and you can see the auto discovery. We have a result we can click on now and go see what apps are running or have been discovered by the agent on this Windows box. So we've got a few different options here. So the first thing we're gonna do is do the host monitor. This is the base monitor for Windows in general. We're just gonna click on the add to monitor and we're just gonna take that name and we're gonna put that in the description. If you wanted to put something more meaningful in here as well, feel free to do that. You can see that the enable agent collection has been um, has been checked here and of course we're going to put the contact in click OK and after a couple of seconds we're going to see that this has now been added there we go application windows successfully added so let's look at the next on the list that we might want to look at uh, maybe net server right we want to know about the health of the net running on this particular server as well so same thing, we will grab the name, make sure that, again, best practice, always add in a description no matter what you're doing on any object, switch, server, interface, um, VLAN, make sure the description's in there. It's, it's definitely gonna be uh, helpful to you in the future. Click OK. And there we go. And now the last one we're gonna do is the performance counters here. We do have the Java runtime, the SQL and the Tomcat, but those are gonna require different credentials, so we're not gonna deal with them in this video. We'll look at them later. Um, again, so the performance counters, we're gonna take that description, WinPerf. Cut and paste that in, nice and easy. Change the contact to a meaningful admin at lab.local. You know, whoever's responsible for the application is probably a good or a better uh, contact to put in here. Click OK. There we go, application successfully added. So now let's go and take a look, now that these are all added. Um, again, we'll deal with the, 
the other, the Java, the SQL, the Tomcat on a later video. So don't worry about that. We will get to those. Let's go look at the application topology and see, see where things are right now. Right? Let's see what we can see, which is different from the first video we did, which was just the VMware ESX host. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. So there's, there are our VMware servers, our ESXIs. You can also see there's the Windows performance, the .NET, and how they're related to the host operating system that it's actually running on. So we can start to have these relationships between the host and the applications running on the host. And that's really how, how applications start to be built nowadays, is multi-tiered applications. You have to be aware of how everything relates to each other. So we just clicked on the host topology, and now we can get more information for this specific host relationships. We can click on the application monitors and drill down into exactly what this particular APM monitor is monitoring. You can see memory, CPU, all those kind of good things, right? Um, we can go down here to the bottom and look at the processes. Right, so we can actually look at specific processes on this box, um, this server, and then maybe we want to monitor the FileZilla server. Maybe there's other things we want to monitor in here, right? We don't know. This is all up to you. We can have it all if you want. So we'll close this down and we'll see what else we can see. So we looked at the host monitor. What happens if we look at the application monitor for the performance counters? Well, there's not much in here right now. But we click on that gear button, and now we can see all the WMI counters that are available to us through the WMI interface on this Windows 2012 box. Again, that's kind of out of scope for this video, so this is, you know, you're going to have to figure out what you want to monitor for those particular applications. Um, there's some homework involved here, but it'll get you a lot more visibility into the nature of, of your applications and exactly what is affecting the performance of them. And again, .NET, we can go into here um, and grab information as well. So now we, we've got at least part of the puzzle figured out of what makes the service, the network management service of IMC, right? And we're going to continue building that um, throughout these videos. And with that, see you guys next time on the next IMC management tutorial.